Neil here with your Palm Springs real estate update for January 2023. And stay tuned to the end for some exciting news and a candid discussion on what you need to know to succeed in today's market. Everyone is wondering about current home prices. Are they falling? And if so, by how much and will this continue? So let's dive right into the latest information. Now these are the latest numbers from December 2022. The median price of a home in the Coachella Valley fell in December and is currently $640,000. However, the good news, it's still up 3.7% year over year. To better explain, the current median price is 9.9% below the peak of $710,000 that we had a few months back. So this has returned the rate of growth back to its long-term normal average of 4.5%. Overall, home sales continue to decline. The three-month average of sales was 444 units, and that's 49.4% less than a year ago. So for comparison before the pandemic, December sales averaged 717 units. So our sales are now running about 38% below average. We have 1,304 units more for sale than this time last year, however and the median selling time, or the time on the market, continues to increase. The December number of days on the market was 37, which is 10 more days than this time last year. The region's historical average is 50 to 60 days, maybe even up to 70 days. Another big change, only 15.2% of the sales occurred above the list price, compared to 43% of the sales above list price just one year ago. For condos, the median price was $440,000, which is down for the seventh month in a row. And like homes, has brought prices back to the 4.5% range for long-term growth. Historically, we're entering the time of year when desert sales stop declining and sales actually begin to rise. So we'll see what happens. Let's take a real quick look at what's happening nationally that's driving the Palm Springs area housing market. Inflation has fallen in the past month and mortgage rates are now down in the low six to six and a half percent range. They were up at 7.2%. If inflation rates continue to drop over the coming months, you can expect mortgage rates to fall accordingly. So if you're thinking of buying a home, I think there's a window of opportunity to purchase during the next three to six months, like we've not seen since before the pandemic. Right now, you have less competition to buy a home. There are more homes available than we've seen for quite a while and you actually have the time to shop for a house and really look. It's not the take it or leave it situation that we had at this time last year. And also, many sellers are willing to offer credits to help with closing costs and help buy down your interest rate. And it's also possible we may see rates in the range of 5% later this year if inflation continues to fall. So there's still plenty of pent up demand to purchase. And I think if rates continue to drop, you'll see a lot more buyers entering the market. So as demands pick up, sellers will not be willing to give as many concessions. So right now, this window of opportunity is really a great time to buy. If you are a seller, I'm going to be straightforward with you. You need to be prepared to price your home aggressively in order to bring buyers to your home. Sellers need to be prepared to give credits to buyers to cover closing costs or to cover interest rate buy-downs. And sellers also need to be prepared to see buyers making offers on the contingent sale of their own property. And it's also super important that your property is in good shape and is properly prepared to sell. The final thing for sellers is the importance of pricing the home correctly to hopefully drive a bidding war. Selling a home is not like selling a used car where you price it high and then negotiate down. Selling your home is completely different and we're trying to ideally create an auction effect on your home. Pricing lower brings in many more buyers to look at the home first online and then in person and then actually making an offer. If you price your home too high at the start, you get fewer eyeballs online, fewer showings and fewer, if any, offers. Remember, the Palm Springs area is an amazing place with all the things to do, the weather, and the fact that our area is more affordable than other California cities. So we think our area will not suffer as much as other parts of California and the U.S. One final thing. 
I want to thank the Greater Palm Springs Association of Realtors for awarding me the Realtor of the Year Award in December. It was a great honor. I'm very humbled by it. If you have any questions about buying or selling, let me know. Call, text, or email me for a no pressure, no hassle or obligation consultation. Just click on the link below. You may also want to subscribe to my Living in Palm Springs YouTube channel. I'm sure you'll find the information useful. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next month.